Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. It's about using GTK3 with C language, CSS. I'm using GCC9 with Linux Mint 19. So in the first old tutorial, I was showing you about how you create a window and uh, just a short brief. I ch made some changes because uh, there are things which we are not gonna use them, at, at least not now. Some of them I dropped the main arguments uh, parameter and I use Boid. Same for ar arguments of uh, GTK init. I dropped them too because we are not gonna use them. And that should be all. If I run the program now, it will compute fine and we can see our window. Yes, the window is here. I close it, everything is fine. Well, now what we will do today is just a short brief. We will learn how to set a Windows title, which means our application gets a name or something. We will set the window size if you need a default size for your window. Uh, later we will learn how to make it uh, to use the whole screen, but that will be in another tutorial. Uh, we will learn how to get the actual window size after we set it, after we have it. We'll set the window's position, we'll get that position, we'll move the position to a new one and yeah we can add a window border so let's get started i know if i told you let's in my last tour about uh, i'm using code blocks because it's very good i did for something like this so let's see like i said the first thing which we need is to set windows title for that we can we need a function which is gtk window set title is here and uh, arguments which are needed are our window and a name uh, let's create a name here let's say uh, let's say I know my window okay window title let's run it Okay, passing on our GTK through win. Ah, okay, yes, GTK. We will need a lot of cast, but we are using C, so we know how to cast them. GTK window, and then we put a window inside. And after this, we can run our program. And yes. You see here we have my window the name which we choose for our application and works fine so next thing what we need to do is to set the window size next one window size is gtk window set default size and we have here again a GTK window pointer and then when I read it and hey both size so GTK window we need to cast again cast 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 I know I'm not, uh, English is not my main language if I can call it like that but you will understand so let's see let's create like I know 800, 600. Okay, I'm gonna run it. 
and our window is now bigger it is 800 600 what we are next to do is to get up to our window size yeah okay for this we need to variable gint I know let's say those two variables we were use them for getting our up to our window size so the function which we are needed is called gtk uh, window get size and here we have again our gtk window so gtk window cast we pass our window inside next we need those variables which are we and hey let's clean the program format okay and after that we we can print it with the help of the gprint function and we'll say So let's see. We compile it. Okay, we have a problem here. Passing argument two of the. Ah, yeah, I know because it's, if we take a look of the function, he says here that we have it takes two pointers, so we need to pass their addresses. I was. Too now we run it and compare is fine and we have with 800 600 so this works fine next thing which we will do is set windows position over here for this we need a gtk window set position again our window gtk window and last one is the position there are uh, many positions which we can use them gtk uh, win win position and they are center center always center on parent mouse and none i think the default one is none or center i'm not sure i'm really not sure i'm not that good in this anyway uh we are gonna use center for now just to see the difference of some of them as you can see the window stays in the middle, in the center. If we change the position of windows to, let's say, mouse, mouse, I spell it right, I don't know, whatever. Now, when I build and run, if I don't move my mouse pointer, then uh, the window will appear in the top left side. It should appear there. Yes. This is. Uh, the mouse position another one at center always on parent as this is not an object of our discussion now i'll let it to always or center um, now we will get the window position to see where the position of the window it is at this point Let's see if everything works. GTK window window get 
position hmm. Get position again we need our gtk cast for the our window gtk window window and next we need again two pointers okay we will gonna use same variables if even if they are not same whatever so we okay let's clean it run it, run it. oh yeah i just get a position without print it good sorry about that we need to print it so i'm just gonna take this part here and i'm gonna move it here and then if i run the program now the pro okay yeah yes semicolon is missing i will copy as you can see the position of the window is at 400 130 so let's check if it is right by changing the windows position to the mouse position and let's see what's happened now let's see mouse is here windows is there and if i move it we have zero zero yes it's working if i move the mouse pointer here fast we will get 800 300 yes here 800 here 300 okay so i can find so next we will move our window to a new position we'll see uh, we will choose another position which fits to our need i will use center again here and then I move the window let's say GTK window move and we have again GTK window let's see 500 on the 55 whatever what happens now is that when we are gonna run our program it should be our window not in the center like uh, we decide to have it here we will override this and we move our window to this position yes the window is at that position but here the position size is the old one so let's see if the position size change and works like we will need it for that we were gonna call again the position of the window. We move the print. Okay, because I didn't know this. This is not object of our discussion now. We will later uh, another tutorial about how to print the new position because I I, I think I, I need to get the position again let's see if I'm right I just moved it here I will call it again and if I print it yes yes I had to get the position again of course so the last thing which we need to do is to add the window border I know how much you will notice this now but later in our next tutorials you will notice about about uh, uh, the, those changes which mm. 
border with it it says we need a container this time so which means we need a new type of cast gtk container window next one is the border with it I know let's see 20 kind of big but why not we'll run it and we have our program we cannot see too much here because uh, we need to create a let's say I know a table or grid or something and then you will notice the border so that's it that's all for today uh, in the next tutorial we will learn how to block closed windows from clicking on X this means when you click here if you decide your windows to be not closed from here but for a button if you click here it will not close this means uh, block the closed window from clicking on X and then next one sets whatever the user can resize the window if you want your window to be resizable or not now it's sizable as you can see I can make it and um, we are gonna find the screen size and use it in our window this means um, probably you want to run your application only in full screen and uh, for this uh, there are a lot of possible ways to uh, there are some possible ways to set your application to the to fit to the screen of uh, different uh, screen sizes but if you get the screen size then you can use it and you can set the windows to that size we will create a window icon and we will add a window background to our window and I think it's enough with uh, window manipulation window uh, and then the next coming will we'll take care about GTK with CSS because this is about CSS and GTK here not about GTK only okay guys see you next time hope you like it please subscribe and until next time just check it again